we got some new updates about the highly anticipated last Ronin game, and unfortunately, the news is mostly terrible. No. What it do, do right nation? I'm back with Super News Bits, bringing you the latest superhero news in less than three minutes because I respect your time if you subscribe. So if you want to be kept up to date with the latest games from Marvel and DC, hit the like button so it will reach more people. But if it wasn't for you, change it to a dislike. Last year, we got our first look at the previously announced Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin Game. The surprise project is a single player action game said to be in the style of God of War that will be an adaptation of the massively popular comic run The Last Ronin, which follows the last surviving Ninja Turtle as he fights to save his city and avenge his fallen family. We got a teaser trailer last year that showed us a little bit of what the game looked like and fans were understandably very excited to have a mature Ninja Turtle game coming to consoles and PC that isn't an old school side scroller. There was even talk the game could be released as early as 2024, but sadly it was too good to be true. In case you've been living under a rock, the gaming industry has been dealing with a lot of problems over the last year. Besides cyber attacks, by far the biggest problem has been layoffs, with more than 10,000 workers losing their jobs last year. 2024 is off to an even worse start. Newly Microsoft-owned Activision Blizzard and Xbox just fired over 1,900 people, bringing the amount of lost jobs in 2024 to over 5,000. Unfortunately, the last Ronin was not immune. Among the latest round of layoffs were from the Embracer Group, who is now more famous for firing devs than they were for collecting them like Infinity Stones. Before a reported two $2 billion investment deal disappeared at the last minute, Embracer had spent over $300 million acquiring Marvel's Avengers and Tomb Raider developer Crystal Dynamics, as well as Idols Montreal from Square Enix. On top of that, they straight up bought the Lord of the Rings for nearly $400 million. But once that investment fell through, Embracer started a firing spree, shutting down studios, including Saints Row developer Volition, and canceling projects left and right. Unfortunately for Ninja Turtle fans, one of the studios under their embracer was Black Forest Games, who happened to be the team developing The Last Ronin. It was just reported the studio will be losing more than half of their employees. As of 2023, Black Forest had 110 staff members. So these layoffs will leave them with around 55 people left to finish the game. Reportedly, all the creative directors and pretty much every manager were allowed to keep their jobs. It's unclear how long these layoffs will delay the game or if it will be canceled altogether. But if you need some good news, this might overall be a really good year for fans of superhero games. I break it all down in the next video on screen.